Hi there, this is Robin Norgren. Welcome to the Yoga Vitamin Lady podcast. Today's segment will be talking about what is yin yoga? Now, there are a lot of similarities between yin yoga and restorative yoga, and we'll get more into that on another discussion. But for today, I want to really focus on the idea of what yin yoga holds for you. And if you are new to the practice of yoga in general, or maybe you have practiced yoga, but you haven't practiced yin yoga, or maybe you know a little bit about yin yoga and you really do think it's just interchangeable with restorative yoga, I'd really like to give you um, some facts that maybe will inform your your, um, opinion on what the value of yin yoga is. So yin yoga really is being on your mat, mostly on the floor, and holding poses for a a long period of time, anywhere between five, three to five minutes, sometimes as long as 10 minutes. And we allow gravity as opposed to our muscles to do the work. It is a practice of asanas or poses, and they are held for a long time. But the intention behind that is different. There's no muscle involvement that is needed to do these poses. In fact, it's encouraged not to do that because that's when we then move into more of a restorative yoga practice. We're really trying to get at connective tissues, tendons, ligaments, joints, what many refer to as the fascia or the fascia. And we really are having an intention of joint health. In fact, many times it is referred to as the yoga of the joints. When you think about it in terms of yin and yang, Yin really is about being tuned in, nourishing, and restoration, but in a different way than restorative yoga comes at it. Many times if you're in more of the yang part of your, um, how should we say, of how you're moving through life, let's just say that. And what you'll find is, if you're operating in the yang more than the yin, you may start to feel overworked, fatigued, tired, but you really don't know how to bring yourself back into balance. Well, yin yoga offers you a great opportunity to come back to, um, I guess, the equilibrium, if we say it in layman's terms, of how you're processing and moving through your life. Tomorrow, we're going to talk about the principles behind yin yoga. Thanks so much for stopping by.